Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Synology disk station that is sitting right here, and this is the DS418 Play model, one of the latest models offered by Synology, and basically what this thing is, is it's a multimedia-centric personal cloud station. So basically, you can dump any kind of data you want onto this guy, could be movies, could be photos, could be videos, and then you connect this to your router in your home and using the router it can feed all that media to any computer in the house including your Android phones, uh, iPhones and even your gaming systems. So it's a multimedia center for your photos, for your videos, for your documents if you want and of course for your music and one of the biggest things about this guy is you can actually put in 4K video onto this and it can transcode that and feed and stream that to any one of your devices. We're talking about high quality 4K video uh, that, that you can easily stream to any device you want in your house. So it is a personal cloud station. Now unlike Dropbox and Google Drive uh, that sit in a remote area um, that is not your house, it's a remote private server that belongs to somebody else, this one sits in your own home. So you are the only one that has direct access to the data. And also, if you leave your house, if you go to the other end of the world, you can still access all the content on this guy, no problem. Now, just to make it very crystal clear, I'm gonna go to the whiteboard, I'm gonna show you exactly how this thing works, uh, just by drawing some illustrations. But quickly, I'm gonna let you know, uh, this guy has four bays, so you have one, two, three, four bays. Each bay takes one hard drive, and when I say hard drive, uh, basically this is what I'm talking about, just a standard hard drive we all uh, know and use all the time in our computers. So one of the hard drives that can go here can be of a maximum capacity of 10 terabytes. So you have one, two, three, four bays. If you put the max here, max here, max here, max here, you can get up to 40 terabytes of multimedia storage on this guy. And obviously you don't have to put 10 terabytes, you can put 5555 five, five, five and get 20, or you can just have one uh, hard drive and just put it in here for now, five terabytes, and later you can scale if you so desire. Anyway, let me move on to the whiteboard, let me show you exactly how this thing works. All right, so let me quickly draw a line right here. And this side is your home, and this side is outside the rest of the world. In your home, you have a router, and then most people have a couple laptops that are connected to this router wirelessly and maybe one computer that is connected to the uh, router via a wire. What you do is you go and you buy the DS Play, uh, the 418 Play, and you put it right here. You connect this to a power source. Now this is the Synology. DS418 Play, okay? So you connect this to a power source and you connect this to a router, and then you just set this up. It's very easy to set this up. You just go to any one of these computers, type in the address that comes to the user manual. It walks you step by step on how to set this thing up. Once it's set up, you start to dump files on it. You can uh, dump video, you can dump photos, okay? Uh, you can dump 4K video, high quality video, whatever you want you can put on your uh, Synology disk station, it's just like a hard drive, it's a big hard drive that can house anything that you want. Now after you do that, what happens is all these computers at the same time can access the disk station. So whatever movies you put, whatever music you put on here is accessible to all these computers as long as they have the password to access Synology. At the same time, if you have any smartphones, they can access it too. Smartphone, smartphone, smartphone. Three smartphones in one house. Wife, husband, daughter, right? And all of these people can connect to this disk station and access any data that the administrator of the Synology disk station makes available uh, to these people. No problem. So that's in the house. This is how you share data. Now if you leave your house, let's say you're out here in the world, somewhere on the streets, and you want to connect your disk station to access a data file, maybe you want to show a video that you had on this to a friend, or maybe you just want to do anything, anything on this disk station. You can have your smartphone and boom, you can connect right to it 
using the username and password that you yourself set up inside the Synology disk station. So that's basically what this thing is going to do for you. You dump video files onto this, you dump photos, you dump music, you dump documents, and you can access it from your home or from the outside anywhere in the world. That's what's called a multimedia-centric personal cloud station. All right, let's go back to my desk. All right, so hopefully you understood exactly what I was talking about. Uh, basically, like I said, uh, it's got four bays. That means you can put in four hard drives up to 40 terabytes in total and 10 terabytes per bay, maximum 10. So all you do basically is you pull this thing out just like that and you dump in the hard drive. That's how easy it is. And then you pull it back and you close it. And then you go to a web browser on any computer in the house that belongs to you and you can access all the files on this guy. Now remember, this guy was designed to be able to attach to your router, and then using the router, it can feed data to the rest of the computers in the house or outside of the house. You can access it anywhere, like I just showed you guys. But once it is connected to your router, you simply go to a web browser, type in the address for this box, which you're gonna get, which will be given to you as you set this thing up initially, and then you can access all the storage on here from, from the web browser uh, and anything. Now, if you want to access the data that's on this guy using a cell phone, one of your smartphones or your tablets, you simply download the appropriate app. And Synology has an app for everything. They have an app for video. They have an app for uh, photos. They have an app for documents. So everything on here is accessible from any product. Now, as far as video goes, you can even access that from your game station, your game console. So they do have apps to access the video and the photos on this guy using a game console. So basically, let me just summarize. It's a multimedia center. You're supposed to dump all the files you want, uh, you want to share with all the computers in the house onto this thing. Videos, 4K videos, uh, photos, music, any document. And once you dump it on here, it is accessible by any computer, any device in the house or outside of the house. Again, it's called Synology Disk Station DS418 Play. And I do want to thank Synology for sending one of these guys over so I can test it out and share it with you guys. I'm going to drop all the links down below uh, if you want to purchase one of these guys. If you have been thinking about setting up something like this, this is the answer. And remember, this is not just an empty box. It's actually a computer. There's a CPU in here. There's a RAM in here, so it's a full uh, unit. It's a full computer unit. There's even fans in the back here to cool the hard, hard drives. So I'm gonna, all those technical specs, I'm gonna let you guys take a look at it. The links are down below in the description box. Go check it out. Now, if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop them down below. And of course, uh, subscribe to Saki Tech. Give this video a thumbs up. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.